So jumping into how to manage clerks and communication inside Rinky, I'm going to pull up a demo database for us to use for this part of the demonstration. So on screen here, I have a demo database, and I'm going to start with the clerks module. I'm going to uh, hire a new employee, a new clerk. We're going to create their brand new clerk ID for them. So to do so, I'm going to go directly to system configuration and select the clerks module. The clerks module is going to appear as a pop-up on my screen. I can move this pop-up around and always see my information uh, in room key behind my screen as well. Now this clerks module is going to show me a list of all of my active clerk IDs here listed under my users tab. So you'd be able to see any clerk IDs that you currently have. You can update any of that information as needed. I'm going to create a new clerk ID, so I'll use the add button on the right hand side. When you're creating a new clerk ID, you must give them their own login name and password temporarily. Um, the clerk will have their own ability to manage their own password once you give them this temporary one. So I'm going to designate a, a login name. This is going to be Peter Powell. So any combination of login name you can enter here. Uh, I've just used first name and last name, all lowercase. When you select the password button, this is where you can now enter in a temporary password for Peter to use the first time he logs in to room key. Now I've entered in a password here. You'll notice that when you're entering that information, it does not display on screen, but it must follow all seven of these requirements. Another thing to note about password is that uh, passwords do expire every 90 days. However, our system will give you a warning message and count down to that expiration date. Now, if the password does expire, uh, the user would not be able to reset his own password. They would have a manager or supervisor to reset his password for him. But uh, for now, uh, we've set up a password temporarily for Peter. I would select OK. Now, I can enter in some contact information. This is optional. RoomKey does not print this information on any external documentation. This is for reference information only. I'm going to leave those reference fields blank and go directly to the first name and last name. I do recommend that you enter in first name and last name information into these fields because these uh, first name, last name will appear on activity reports and transactional reports. Now, while you're uh, creating your new user, do you need to also give them a designated user role? So, RoomKey comes with three main user roles. An owner admin user role is going to have access to the most amount of permissions available on the permission setting. So many times uh, you will have our training team recommend that you create all of your users as owner admin, and then you have the ability to customize permissions for each different type of user under the permissions tab. If you prefer not to do that, you can also take advantage of the clerk and accountant user role. However, please note that both the clerk and accountant user roles uh, may have limited access to certain permissions under the permissions tab. So I'm going to select owner admin for this clerk. Now, some of the other fields that you can enter in when creating a new clerk include uh, adding a default screen. So you can indicate what uh, screen Peter would see as soon as he logs in. We do have three options. The in-house screen is the default screen regardless. Or if you prefer, you can view an inventory calendar or a property dashboard. Now, if I was to select inventory calendar or property dashboard, when Peter logs in, one or um, that module will automatically pop up as soon as Peter logs in. I'm just going to keep it to the in-house screen, which is the default setting. If you leave this space blank, it will always default to the in-house screen. Now, I can also uh, control some other elements of this user role. Uh, I can also make Peter a sales manager and allow him to participate in any commission uh, for group business, wholesaler business, or uh, corporate business. And of course, if Peter ever leaves the property or moves on from this hotel, I can deactivate his user at that time as well. So with these uh, main fields entered in, I'm going to now select OK. That will now appear on my screen. Should be able to scroll down and view Peter Powell's new login information. 